Why is life filled with evil-minded people? Kelvin, what did I ever do wrong to you that made you do what you did to me? Kelvin, I loved you with all my heart, even when you had nothing. I was very much willing to go extra miles to ensure that you made it big in life. I was ready to sacrifice everything for you. Now you reward me. You reward my love and good deeds to you with hatred, heartbreak and sorrow. Kelvin, why? Now my boss is on my neck to return his money. How do I pay back this money? How do I pay it back? Every man in life prays for their children to become greater and better than them in all aspects of life. But mine is totally different. Why does my own father not want me to be greater and better than him? How can a man that enjoyed the level of peace that my father enjoyed in his marriage with my late mother not want me to do same. Why will my father push me into the hell that I find myself right now, all in the name of marriage? Is King Akuma truly my biological father? Hey. Hello. I see that you are lost. In your own world. Lost in a world of misery. Life is hard. It's almost impossible to go through life without pain, hurt, and disappointment. But then it hurts the most. When we get hurt by the people who are supposed to love, care, and protect us, you know, it's, it's crazy. I know that you're hurt. But I have the ears to listen. Let me share in your moment of despair. You can talk to me. I want to hear your story. Hmm? Get lost. Hmm. Not nice. That's not a very good way to start now. Alright. So we just try again. Okay? My name is Chuku Dozier. But you can call me Dozier. Mm. I said get lost. Are you daft or something? 
Or are you just plain stupid that you don't know what I mean by get lost? You take yourself out of this place. This is not good. I see that you're deeply taken by your misery. So I'll let you be. He's not taking his calls. Where could he be by this time of the night? <sighs> when did he leave this palace today? He left in the afternoon after having a fight with Abigail. Your Majesty, I am tired. I'm tired of I'm tired. I'm tired of everything. I'm seriously tired. My husband always looks for every little thing to pick a fight with me. What have I done? Okay, fine. What caused to this fight, according to him, was because I didn't lay the belt well. Everything I do, he complains. He nags and complains about every little thing. I'm tired. You mean Chuku Doze left this palace after fighting you and has not returned to the palace by this time of the night? Yes, Your Majesty. Did he go out with any of his guards? No, Your Majesty. He asked them to stay back. Yes. You look worried. I've been trying to call Becky's line and she's not picking. Becky left this house since afternoon. And she's not yet back. I don't know. This is all like her. <laughs> Maybe she's somewhere sulking over her stupidity. You know? She thinks everybody will be like her. But that will never happen. Never. Maria. Maria, are you not even worried about her? Do you know if something has happened to so this is past 10 p.m. and Becky is not back? You know she doesn't behave like and this. And why should I be worried over an adult? No, tell me. Why? Listen to me, Choma. Becky is an adult. She's matured enough to take care of herself. I beg you. Now me carry her come this city. Now me carry her come this town. See busy trouble. Please. She's capable enough to take care of herself. So whenever she's done, whatever she's doing, wherever she is, let her return back home. Don't disturb me. As you can see, I'm just coming back from work. Let me go and freshen up. I, I don't have time for. I can't believe you. I don't have time you. for all this rubbish. I should be worried over over over, over a grown adult. Becky, answer your phone. Ha! Huh. So this.
this life has never been good to me. Oh, yeah, yeah, this life has never treated me well. All I see is a gun in the night, a gun in the day. So wonderful experience that a capable love sweeping anyone that encounters it. Move, let's break our head. Move. Oh, oh, oh. What is this life turning into? Come. Gradualities are falling apart. It breaks my heart. It holds me alone. It breaks my heart. I am dying inside of me. I am dying in silence. Who will help me? Who So, uh, uh, come down, mm. come down. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Mm. Sit, 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 sit. Uh. Ah! Mm. What, what, what happened to her? So hard, Baba. Oh my goodness. Wait. Maria! She had uh, a little too much to drink. So oh I, I drove her back in her car. Oh my goodness. That's okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Yeah. She's been throwing up on her way here, though. Mm. So. Yes, but I, I don't think it's anything. So oh my God, Maria, please come. Just uh, come. On. Becky, I don't even know what to do. Moses, what? What, what happened to her? He said she had a lot to drink. Please, let's take her upstairs. Uh, my name is um, Dozier. Okay. And yes, I, uh, I'll be back again tomorrow to see how she. No, 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 just, just, just hold on. Wait, no, let's. It's okay. I have to go get my car where I left it because oh. I had to bring her in her own car. You know? Thank, Thank you, you so very much. God bless God you. Bless you were a good Thank man. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. May God bless you. Thank you. It's all right. I have to go. Well, I appreciate. You're welcome. Good night. Thank you. Please, let's take our stairs. Ah, are you serious? I can't even carry her. Oh my God, Becky! I can't carry you. Oh, take our car. Oh, wait. Ah. I ask again, where did you sleep last night? I spent the night at a hotel. A hotel? Who authorized you to do so? Have I not warned you never to sleep outside this palace without my permission? To be honest with you, that I don't like how you treat me. 
I'm an adult now, Dad. You talk to me as if I'm a child. Like I'm some little boy. I'm an adult. I'm a full grown man. I know what's good for me and what's not good for me. I know what to do and what not to do, Dad. I know the right thing to do. You've got to trust me. Son, you're my little child, my son. The heir apparent of this throne of our forefathers. And that simply means that you are supposed to live by example and not as it pleases you. What do you think the people of this great kingdom will make of you? The people you are supposed to rule in the future as a king. You want them to see you as a king who spends his vital time with a band of prostitutes and temps. Is that what you want to make of yourself? Father, do you ever think of me? Do you ever think of my happiness? Why is it that you're constantly doing everything to ensure that I become the next king of this kingdom, but you never think of my happiness? I am made to understand that every parent would give everything to ensure that their child is happy. But the reverse is the situation with us, Dad. And so I ask, are you truly my father? Chidozi, how dare you? What has come over you? How dare you ask father such a question? Oh lady, there comes a point in every man's life when he must seek answers to things affecting him, the things that surround him. Allow me to decipher the mysteries surrounding my birth and my paternity. I ask again, my king, are you truly my father? For I cannot be your child, yet you subject me to living like a slave in a palace where I am supposed to live as a prince, an heir to the throne that you sit on, father. Far be it that I take another man's blood as my own. Truth being told, sometimes you do not behave as my child. And it leaves me to wonder if you are still the paladin of this throne. Father, even Chukwoki Kabiyama sees my heart and he knows that I would love to be king and rule my people after your long gone. But not as your puppet, but as a man, a full grown man who has the liberty to make decisions, choices for himself. But you see, that freedom to choose is what you have constantly denied me, and it makes me sick. Can't you just come down from your high horse and accept for once that what you did was absolutely wrong and stop looking for a way to justify your actions? I am wrong because I have chosen happiness over hell and burden that your father has placed on my head. I made it very clear to you, father, that my happiness died the day you forced me to marry that thing sitting there. Dozi, Dozi, will you stop it? What has come over you, I ask again? You've got a beautiful woman with the biggest and the largest heart ever. And that is what every man out there prays for. In your case, Dozie, you have it. Yet you don't even appreciate it. So I ask you, why do you hate your wife with so much passion? Why, Chidozie? Son, you must go up there and apologize to your wife willy-nilly. Father, what are you going to stop manipulating me? Becky, <laughs> are you saying you don't remember how you got back home last night? I don't remember a thing. 
I mean, the last thing I remember was me drinking at the bar and then at some point I felt I was getting drunk or tipsy. I decided to go home and that was it. Next thing I am waking up in my room. I don't even know how I got here. Can someone help me with that information? Okay. How did I get back home? Well, a perfect gentleman brought you back home. You, you, you were stinking of alcohol. <laughs> you even messed the whole house up. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. <sighs> like, you won't kill yourself. Girl, come on. You know my situation. Mm. <sighs> Speaking of the perfect gentleman, who, who, who is the guy? Did you get his name or something? I mean, I need to say thank you to the young man because he could have taken advantage of me at that state. Mm. Yes, babes. Some other person would have robbed me or raped me or do something, you know, at that vulnerable state. Anybody could have done anything to me. But that man decided to be a good Samaritan and brought me back home. So I need to say mm. thank you to him. Mm. So you knew all these things. And she took alcohol. He went to... You want to kill yourself with alcohol? Please don't judge me. You know my situation. Miss said his name is Dozier. Dozier. With the way he sounded last night, it was as if he already told you his name. And you would remember when we tell you. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I did it. You know I go to work with things. Uh -uh. I don't know now. I'm not the. I'm not the woman that's sending the name. But she must have said something. But I don't understand. I don't know. I don't. Hi, Timothy. Hi. Welcome. What are Hi. you doing here? Hi. Hi, Maria. Hi, Guinea. Didn't you hear what she just said? Answer the question. What are you doing here? You know. um... <sighs> Today is Valentine's Day and um, tomorrow it's your birthday. So, so I, I I thought it wise to make a very beautiful portrait of you, so. Oh. Yeah. Wow. DJ yeah. Love. <laughs> oh, my oh my goodness. This is beautiful. Beautiful yeah. portrait of me, guys. <laughs> Beautiful portrait. Wow. <laughs> I look so I look so oh. beautiful. Oh my god. Beautiful, beautiful portrait of me. It's oh. yours. So I will fire you. What is your problem, Timothy? Did I believe a portrait? Did I believe a portrait? Did I beg you? What is your problem? Why can't you just leave me alone? Oh my goodness. All these broke ass niggas eh? Why are you guys so stubborn? What is your problem? I have told you that I'm not interested. Why are you always? Why are you following me around? What is you? What, what is it? What did you do that for? He gave you a gift. If you don't like it, you just reject it. Other than, did, did you see you just injured him? What is my business? Did you see that he's bleeding? That serves him right. Next time he will know his level. He will know his what and know that hey, he can't even date a happening chick like Maria. What's the service for? Hey, what? Just, 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 okay. just take it. Eh? You need a fair face. What is it? I'm not interested. Is it by force? Is it by force? Mm. Better take your tacky self out of this place this minute. Oh yeah, start going. This is wrong. This is all shades of wrong. Mm. What kind of nonsense is this? Did you see the wound you just gave this guy now? Do I look like I care? Do I look like I care? You can die for all I care. Yes, go and die. Where is your conscience? No, really, Shoma, where is your conscience? I have told you on, that I'm not interested. Go eh? here. Go Take him with. What do you mean? Go here. Do you expect him to go home like this? Of course not. Nah, he has to go like that. Why are you, Shoma? You want to take him to where? Where? I am taking him inside. Into my room to treat him. Oh, you no, no, no way. No. You won't try that rubbish. Are you okay? You will not try it. You will but not. You... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on a minute. Let me remind you to something you're forgetting. Mm -hmm. I have equal rights like any of you in this house. 
So when I say I'm taking him into my room to treat his wound, I am taking him inside there. And I said you're not taking him anywhere. We have only one rule in this house. You can bring in anybody you want, but that person will not spend the night. He is not spending the night. I'm just going to treat his wound inside my room. Well, stop me. Let's go. See, I, 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 I don't want to fight you. I, I, I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. Why, up, your man? I don't want to fight you. Calm down. This wound that you gave to him now is, 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 is giving me joy. I like this wound that you gave him. It will teach him a lesson. It's your audacity for me. He brought me a portrait. Hey, yeah. uh, you know today, today is Valentine's Day and tomorrow yeah. is her birthday. Can you, you imagine? Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at the cheap portrait. Just, just, ah, just look at, just, just look at. Just look at the cheap. Oh, oh God, this, this guy is too cheap and broke for my life. Tell you what to do. You have to die. Mm -hmm. Just die. Have a go. Why don't you just die and get yourself out of this misery that greed puts you in? <laughs> you made my father. You know what you did? house with you. Look at you. You are like this. Well, imagine I'm in this house with you 24 hours round the clock. God, I'm going to kill you. Right? So you're going to go out. My Hey, daddy. My husband. Well, my husband and I are fine. Hmm? You're going to do it. Right? I won't do it. What? What did you say? Come to 
me, baby. Come, come, come. <laughs> come, come on. Leave me alone. Come now. Why are you like? <laughs> Stop shouting. If they hear you, I will kill you. Stop shouting. Stop shouting. Stop shouting. Stop shouting. Stop shouting. They are going to hear you. 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 Stop shouting. They are going to hear you. 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 They hear you. Stop shouting. I need us to have a, I need us to have a conversation. What did you say? What did you say? Are you going to tell my father we're good? What do you mean? That's the plan. Are you going to tell my father we're good? I'm going to keep it. Are you going to...